prepare to be enthralled by Rapunzel's Tower of Laughter and Tangled Whimsy, narrated by the digital muse StoryWave AI. Support our tales by liking, sharing, and subscribing for a new story each day. Chapter 1 of Locks and Laughter Once upon a whimsical morning in the sequestered tower that had been my sanctuary and my cell, I, Rapunzel, awakened to a peculiar sensation. My golden strands, usually a cascading river of sunlight, wriggled beneath my fingertips like playful serpents. Today they seemed imbued with a mischievous spirit all their own. Rappy, are you ready? A voice boomed from below. It was Chuckles, my ever-grinning companion, whose laughter could chase away the darkest clouds. He was poised to help me flee from the clutches of the fiendish Greta Grimclaw, who fancied my magical mane for her vile enchantments. Just a moment, I called down, attempting to tame my unruly hair, which now seemed to have a will as strong as the stoutest iron chain. With each brush stroke, it danced away, and I couldn't help but let out a giggle. Who knew hair could be so ticklish? As the sun crept higher, casting beams of hope into my room, I devised a plan. Hair, listen to me, I whispered. We need to work together if we want to escape. To my astonishment, my locks swayed in what seemed like a nod. Perhaps today wouldn't be so grim after all. Chuckles' laughter echoed as I descended, my hair carefully knotting itself into a ladder. Rapunzel, you look different, he remarked, eyeing my animated tresses with a mix of amusement and awe. Let's just say I've had a bit of a growth spurt, I quipped, and together we set off toward the festival that was in full swing in the heart of our village. The festival was a tapestry of color and sound, with merry music and the scent of sweet treats filling the air. My hair, seemingly enchanted by the festive spirit, began to frolic, plucking apples from carts and tickling unsuspecting villagers, leaving a trail of chuckles in our wake. But our mirth was short-lived, for there, among the throng, stood Grimclaw, her raven perched ominously on her shoulder. Her steel-gray eyes narrowed as she spotted us, and I knew our encounter was inevitable. Rapunzel, my dear, Grimclaw cooed, her voice smooth as silk yet edged with malice. Did you truly think you could elude me? With a courage I didn't know I possessed, I stepped forward. Grimmy, I said firmly, feeling my animated hair bristle in defiance, I am not your puppet. I won't be caged by you or anyone else. Grimclaw's lips curled into a snarl as she raised her hands to cast a wicked spell. But before she could utter a word, my hair sprang into action, weaving itself into a shield that deflected her dark magic. The crowd gasped and chuckles, seizing the moment, began to jest and jape, turning fear into laughter. The villagers joined in, and the air soon filled with gaiety, weakening Grimclaw's resolve. In the end, it was laughter and a newfound self-acceptance that saved me. As I stood there amidst friends and newfound freedom, I realized that my hair, this extraordinary part of me, was not a burden, but a blessing, a source of strength and joy. And so as the festival carried on and the laughter continued to soar, I made a vow to myself. No longer would I hide away or shrink from who I truly was. From that day forth, I would live openly, wildly, my heart untangled and full of laughter. The sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of triumph and tranquility, and I knew that this was but the beginning of a grand, laughter-filled adventure. With chuckles by my side and my vivacious locks a constant reminder of my transformation, I was ready to face whatever twist or turn lay ahead. Our tale has reached its end. We're glad you were here for Rapunzel's Tower of Laughter and Tangled Whimsy. With StoryWave AI, your prompts become unforgettable tales. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for daily explorations into storytelling. March 2024. Fare thee well.